In this video, I want to talk about Microsoft Word form in a different way. I've already done one video about it and some people were asking me some questions about how to make it better by using these types of templates. These are the templates that you can get from Microsoft Word and I'm going to try to share some tips about how do you go about creating this because this is created in a table and by putting things in a table you'll have a much better control over where things are and people will be able to use the tab key on the keyboard to navigate between fields so I'm hoping in 10 to maximum 15 minutes I can talk about this and also add a few more details so the first thing is you need to make sure you have the developer tab and you can get to this by going to this drop down button here more commands and in 2010 and 2013 go to customize ribbon and then choose the check mark for the developer tab in 2007 from my re what I remember is under general you should see some option here called show developer tab so once you have this we can get going so I'll just give it a title okay. and you know you can make the font size bigger and center it now before I go ahead what I'll do is I don't want size 11 font for the rest of my form if you look at this form if you have a lot of details you may want to reduce the size so what you can do is you right click on this normal style which is being used throughout your document you right click it go to modify and change the font size to 8 and it will only affect this document not the new ones when you create them so that's a good thing to do okay. now I'm gonna go to insert table and I'll just say I need three columns and I'll just add a bunch of rows to it because you can always add more rows from the table tools in the layout they have buttons to add about rows, be rows below, columns to the left or to the right and you can also delete cells, columns, rows or table or you can right click on any row and you can choose from the insert button or you can also delete things and then choose what is it that you want to delete an entire row column cells as you would like it and I can click on this button here to highlight the whole table and then go to the properties this is in the table tools layout or I can right click and then go to table properties and in the table options I will remove this check mark which says automatically resize to fit content click OK because what it will do is if you leave it as checked when people try to enter something which is uh, lots of characters your columns will start to auto adjust themselves to make it fit and I don't like to do that under cell in the options you can make some more changes if you needed to I'll click OK you can also choose what default height you want for everybody and also the width or you can just choose and highlight one or two rows at a time and make changes to it so that's up to you if you would like to do that so now let's start adding all the fields and I'm hoping that this uh, video itself will be enough for you to understand about form you may not even need to watch the other video so say for example here I have three columns but I don't want it so I can highlight it right click on it and I can say merge cell and then I can type any information here say this is a patient form so I can say patient information I can highlight and I can go to home center it and I can put some kind of a shading in it now here if I want I can add first name now in the developer tab I can add this rich text content right there like that or I can hit undo or if I want it I hit enter and I can put it underneath it and I can change the text by pressing the design mode and I'll be able to change the wordings and I'll say you know what let me just split this cell up rather than it being one I would rather have first name last name in the same box so I can right click it split the cell into two you can even do more and there it is and I can say last name 
and then add another thing there delete all these texts and just put last name and let me turn off the design mode and you'll see that it will look better once you turn off the design mode so there it is and this is the way it will look and then you can I can go on and add some more things in here so say I wanted to appear add uh, sex I wanted to know whether they are male or female and I wanted to use the option call the the circles and so I'll hit enter and I'll turn on the design mode and from this legacy tools I'll add this circle option and I'll go to the properties and I'll change the caption to male or just M if I wanted to reduce space group name to sex the group name is important because if you end up having lots of these options on your document you need to group them by certain names so that they uh, when you make changes to one it won't affect the other ones and I'll reduce the size and I'll add another one properties group name sex and option caption will be F and I'll reduce this now if I have some room I can right click and I can split this cell into two oh, I think let me hit undo put my cursor away okay I'll right click now and split the cell into two and there it is now up here I can put age and then put a box there so that people can enter their age and now for example if I wanted to I could right click here and I can split this cell into three rows and four columns and there it is I'll highlight this right click it and I'll merge the cells so that I can just I just want one line in there so I'm just writing that highlight it and center it and I'll just say a and I'll put the check mark in there B it will look better once I turn off the design mode C B So you get the idea as to how that works and I'll turn off the design mode and there it is now to make it look a little nicer I could highlight all of these go to the design and from the borders I'll remove all the inside borders so now you can see that this looks a little nicer without all the lines around it and you can remove it from any of these places wherever you want it to make it look different you can do that and here too I can hit enter so that I can put them in the middle rather than being right on the top so that it looks a little nicer so just a few more things uh, with um, adding a combo box so say uh, up here somewhere I wanted to say choose doctor and then write to yourself if I wanted I could add this combo list option design mode go to properties of it and I can add the names of the doctor or whatever it might be city if it was for cities and I'll just do one more if I wanted to put today's date and I can use the date picker and I'll remove the design mode and there is my date picker and here is my drop down and if I didn't want all these lines in the middle I can highlight it design and in this case I 
just need to remove uh, which one do I want to remove at all the inside vertical borders so there it is so you know you can always play with it if I wanted to add some more rows above it right click insert insert the row above so now I have an empty row above it which I can leave empty just to distribute it so that it looks nicer with some blank lines in the middle so I hope this gives you enough idea about the forms and how to add all these fields you know they have options to add a picture place if you needed it you can do that now you can save your form you can save your form in the word format or in a template format and once you've finished and I would highly recommend to remove the board the lines the borders only after you've done otherwise it will be difficult for you to uh, work around it and once you're done with this what you do is you press Control A to highlight everything and then you group it all together and now we will restrict editing so that nobody can make changes to our document the only things they can choose are the form options like adding the names or the choosing the male female options so I'll choose restrict editing choose the allow option here and they change the no changes to filling in forms and start enforcing and I'll put a password and I'll click OK so now if I try to make any changes it will not let me do that but I can choose some options to fill things up or the plans or the names of the doctors and now if I wanted to start making changes to my form I'll have to click restrict editing choose stop protection put my password in there and then I click OK now one last thing I want to talk about is what uh, I had done a separate video where uh, somebody else had asked me a long time ago where they wanted to take the name of the person uh, and uh, maybe an ID number and put it in the header automatically because when you restrict editing they cannot enter it manually so I looked into it and I found there is a there is a feature called style ref that allows you to do that so I'll try to show that to you very quickly so say for example I'll have to go to the design mode and this first name I will go to properties and I'll give it a name I'll just maybe I'll call it F name and then I'll look, click on the use a style format new style and then give it the same name F name and then I click OK and I click OK and now say up here I had a field for ID and I'll add a control there properties and I'll call it ID and I'll do the same step of using the style new style and I'll call it ID and I'll click OK now I'm going to double click on the header so that I can start editing it and here I'm going to press the control key on the keyboard and the F9 key on the keyboard so hold the control key down and then tap F9 the F9s are the F1, F2, F3 keys on the keyboard and then I'm going to type style ref space quotation F name quotation click after that curly brackets enter press control F9 again and then I'm going to type style ref quotation ID so that's coming from the style so it doesn't matter what name you might have given it's coming from the style itself and now when you are done you have to press alt F9 so that those curly brackets are not visible so I'll press alt F9 okay and I'm gonna close the header go to the developer tab turn off design mode and say in this first name I'll enter Amir and you see that Amir shows up in the ID I put any number and it shows up in the ID so this again is a very handy feature so I hope you found this um, useful and I also did another video talking about how to um, create online forms so I'll leave a note I'll leave a note and a link to the video in the description and also another note if you had trouble adding the male female types option from the legacy tools uh, the, I had come across an issue and Microsoft has a fix for it and I will try to put a link in the description to that 
web to that um, software so you can download the Microsoft fix then it will fix the problem automatically thanks for watching